the brains a bit, going back 25 years. Um, so, best footballer, uh, time I was there, uh, obviously Kev Davies. Uh, I think Kev was still fairly young. Um, but I think, well, at the time I was there, the four seasons I was there, we played everything through Kev. So, whether Kev played on the majority of the time, played on the right hand side, the three centre forwards. Um, and for somebody so young, his pace, uh, how direct he was, how skillful he was, um, uh, our game really hinged the majority of the time on him. So, uh, at the time, Kev, very, very good. But that's funny, I was having a conversation with Phil Robinson a few weeks ago. And I think without Phil and Tom in midfield, they were like the hub. Um, so, whereas Kev was obviously an outstanding footballer, the engine of the team really, I think, was Phil Robinson and, and Tom Curtis. If they didn't perform well, then usually we didn't. So. The Joker, Daichi. Uh, Sean was a um, life and soul of the party, to be honest. He uh, was involved in everything. Uh, I was in the in crowd, so I was in with Daichi uh, and Daz Carr, uh, Nicky Law. So it was a uh, it, it was a good team team or group to be in. Um, but Daichi was he was usually the the one doing all the pranks. Funny enough, Daz Carr was. Um, like the quiet, silent assassin in many ways didn't say a lot, had a really, really dry sense of humour and uh, when Daz said something it was uh, it was usually you, you, you know, we found it really, really funny or quite cutting so, um, yeah, dated by far but like Daz with his dry sense of humour The Royal Rumble, well we had our Royal Rumble with Barry, didn't we? So, uh, and if you remember, like Daz Carr and Kev uh, brought the uh, the rear game uh, to that. So, either one of them, uh, you would fancy um, a Royal Rumble. I would have not liked to have seen Nicky on the wrong side. Although I did quite. After that penalty miss, we did see a little bit of it. Um, so I wouldn't have liked to go on the wrong side of Nicky either. But yeah, I think we had a team which could definitely handle itself. So um, yeah, Daz, Kev, Nicky Lowe. Best dancer, I have to be honest and say it. I was never one for going out at the time I lived in Lincoln. All the time I played with Chesterfield, I lived in Lincoln. So, um, so I wasn't really a massive one for nights out. So I have to say I've got no idea the best dancer was. Daichi, million miles ahead of us in so many ways. Um, massive Oasis fan, uh, big indie fan. Um, what was it? I think he went to Nebworth. He had, he had uh, backstage passes for Nebworth when Oasis were on, so million miles ahead of us with uh, with these uh, with these DJs. Um, fashion police, um, Andy Beasley. I'm trying to have a, I was trying to have a think back. I'm sure he had some horrific gear. So yeah, I would say uh, Andy Beasley, from what I can rem remember. Fastest Julesy by a million miles. God, I couldn't keep up with if, if I tried. So, yeah, Julesy was by far the quickest um, player we had in that team. Messiest, well, usually any of the goalkeepers, because the goalkeepers are wearing like 15 layers for training and pretend they were working hard and because they were diving about in modern puddles and then they'd come in and chuck all their gear on the floor. So. Um, any of the goalkeepers really were always messiest. Pretend the boy I can hide. All they was kick it and catch it them days. So uh, yeah, any keeper was messy. Um, teacher's pet's a difficult one because um, we didn't really have a teacher's pet. We have, the way we were set up with John is the manager. He gave us like a lot of license to 
to sort of do what we needed to do, but in a very structured way. So we didn't have anybody. I think the only person that really spoke to mind was Jamie, but he wasn't a teacher's pet. He was just been there that long. He'd, um, what was it? He, um, the, like the management would, would obviously speak and find out of what he was doing and what he thought or, uh, yeah, so uh, it's really difficult because Jamie definitely wasn't teacher's pet, but he'd just been there so long. He'd, um, what was it? I think the, the management sort of lent on him as much as I possibly could. Um, first to arrive, well, the injured war was first to arrive. I was never first to arrive because, like I say, it's a travelling blinking. But we, I think there was a clip the other day where we used to play cricket a lot as a warm up or the fill in time. Um, and I always remember Tom Curtis, Paul Holland, Jamie Hewitt were the main stairs of the cricket. I always got it up and running. So one of those three must have been first there to set it all up because by the time I'd got there, and got changed. They were um, the cricket was already on, and I'd end, end up having having to fit in somewhere. So uh, one of those three would definitely be um, must have been the first to arrive. Worst trainer. It's also a difficult one. Isn't it? I remember a couple of years into my my uh, tenure at Chesterfield, Chesterfield side Gary Lund didn't quite work for Gary and. Um, he fell out of favour um, with John quite quickly and it was, um, what was it, he um, he would do whatever he needed to do to get through a training session which was unfortunately <laughs> very little. So um, yeah, I think Gary was um, probably the worst trainer I saw while I was. Um, obviously famous or most memorable memory of Chesterfield would have to be from my point of view was, was the Wembley game um, not just well first of all from winning the goal obviously scoring um, but there was a lot of, there was a lot riding on it um, there was I think we had a squad of 14 or that 14 I think that went or got picked I think 10 were out of contract um, so it was a it was a big game on lots and lots of lots and lots of ways because we I felt that and a lot of teammates we were really close with potentially if we didn't win might have got released uh, but we won I think everybody got an extension in the contract or who wanted to stay so uh, yeah that was I mean from my point of view as well to play at Wembley uh, and in the playoff final and the score. Um, Nothing really comes close to that after Mini Castle Gold.